and welcome to Puzzle Pieces, where all the lost pieces come together. Episode 2, Stone Puzzle. Howard Carter in 1922 discovered King Tut's tomb. Not just an unknown ancient Egyptian tomb, a tomb that had laid undisturbed for 3,300 years. King Tut had lived in a time of palace intrigue. The young king hoped to bring peace between the religious and technological factions of Egypt. However, in 1926, a Frenchman, Henri Chevier, found an even more amazing site at Karnak that revealed how deep that rift was. He found a large number of stone blocks spilling from an earthquake damage fourth pylon. Henri was only able to date the stones to the late 18th dynasty. The pharaoh Horebhib and his advisor, the priesthood of Amman, seemed to have a problem with the former pharaohs, Tut and his dad, Aachen Adon, and made every effort to eliminate them from history. And the magical energy system with life-giving powers of the Orb of Atan. The Orb of Atan was an ancient energy system, though it was not advertised as such until Aachen Aten and his wife Nefertiti built the display center for the use of the system. The city display system was just a couple of miles away from the Valley of the Kings. The pharaoh Horahib destroyed the city and hid the blocks within many of the pylons of the Temple of Amman, where the priesthood of Amman was sure this technology would be hidden from the barbarians and the common folk. In 1965, a group of archaeologists began a program to reassemble the representation of that city through photographs and computer referencing programs, a curriculum that would reveal the secret power that belonged to the Atan Enigma. The secret was an array of golden mirrors Golden mirrors were used because they are the best reflector of sunshine, and in fact, NASA uses golden mirrors all the time. The Orb of Aton showed many mirrors that were directed by hands, used to concentrate the light of the sun, because those mirrors were used in conjunction and the reflected light was redirected to the same point, producing heat, which was one of Aton's attributes. Egypt has always been a desolate area except near the river, so there was little firewood to be used for cooking and other purposes. The city of Atan showed how solar energy could be used for cooking, pottery firing, even metallurgy, which allowed the people to have a better lifestyle. However, the priesthood of Amman was not willing to share that with the people in turn destroying the city. Now, 3,300 years later, a new city of the horizon is being built, not far from the old temple site of the city of Atan. <laughs>